Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Suyog, also known as the Fun Indian Guy. I'm a service designer, filmmaker, and musician. And on this channel, we make videos about creativity, design, and innovation. And we always get into different, different topics around these three things. We also invite amazing people uh, to get into conversations. We do podcasts as well. So that's basically what the Fun Indian Guy channel is becoming now and how it has been for recent months. And right now, this video uh, is part of a mini series uh, which we are creating, which revolves around the idea of having the idea library so basically I explained what is idea library and why you should have one and what is the importance of having idea library uh, in my previous video link right here if you haven't seen it and then I started to explore or I started to share with you my methods of creating idea libraries in different formats in the first video we talked about using post-its and creating your idea library on the wall and how I do it and link of that video is right here again if you haven't watched that then we talked about having a pocket journal which you can carry around with you all the time and document ideas and ultimately making that journal your library itself and I again talked about my process and method right here and now in this video which is kind of a third part of it and basically the last part of this mini series I'm gonna talk about this very diverse and versatile tool which is basically Google Keep on your phone it's a free app which you can download from App Store it's also available on your computer like a desktop versions as well so I'm gonna share with you how I use Google Keep to create the idea library so let's get going so basically Google Keep is a note-taking app and there are many ways of using it it's very diverse it's very versatile but in this video I'm gonna specifically focus on how I use it to create idea library so idea library revolves around the idea <laughs> revolves around the concept that whenever you get an idea uh, you, you should be able to document it and put it in the same place so that you can access it further and then realize the ideas as you go ahead in your life so to show you the example of how I do it let's go back to the same thing which we were discussing in the last two videos which was basically having a co-working space in nature that was the idea we were trying to document so I'm gonna hit plus here which basically adds a note and I'm going to give a title to it which is basically co-working space in nature so there are various possibilities from here you could explain the idea with the help of a text so there are other possibilities as well for example here what I did is I had a sketch which was on a post-it but I wanted to put it on digital so I just took a picture of this idea of co-work calls and added it in the library at the same time you can also use this app to sketch ideas like this for example here we have floating office so I just sketched it inside this app and uh, recorded the idea right there and then so there are various ways as you can see here you can take photo you can choose image which you already have have taken you can do drawing inside the app you can do recording and you can have tick boxes if you have to-do lists or that kind of a flow to be recorded so right now I'm gonna use recording as a feature and I'm gonna record the idea here a co-working space in nature uh, where trees provide Wi-Fi and you also get fresh food directly from the farm at the same time you can use the space in the exchange for the work you can put in the farm so here we have the audio note as well as the text representation which uh, Google did on its own which is also a nice way to record the ideas so we are just gonna keep it here uh, as I said in the previous video when you sketch your idea or when you talk about it or when you mention your idea you keep thinking about newer possibilities in it so in the first attempt where we were taking post-its we came up with the idea of trees having Wi-Fi then after that when we were exploring the idea in the journal the pocket journal we came up with the idea where you get fresh food directly from the farm and now while I was recording this idea I came up with this another possibility which is basically you work at the farm and then you exchange that work for the time you get to use the co-working space just a thought it's not a concrete idea or that's not the way to go but these are just the additional inputs you get when you are trying to record it or trying to document it so that's the benefit of making ideas a bit tangible and uh, working a bit more on them so this was the first part of documenting the idea now I'm gonna share with you how we make the library of it so basically Google keep gives you a feature of having labels and then you can label the idea for example here I go into labels and I can say this is business idea these are the labels which I have created for this idea library and you can create your own labels as well so here we have business idea so whenever in the future you have to go back to the library and see different ideas you can just go here and see let's say business ideas and then all the ideas which were under business ideas will pop up so this kind of gives you organization and this makes the library more interactive and more helpful 
Uh, another thing which I do, which I'm going to share with you here is you can color code the notes. So for example, here I'm using green, let's say for documenting the fresh ideas, then yellow for the ideas which I'm working on, then the red for the ideas which I already worked on. So let's say this was a fresh idea. So I'm going to go here and give it a green color. So this way we have also visual representation. So again, if you go to product ideas, here you will see the product ideas which you had and which phases uh, they belong to. So it's again additional visual thing to make your ideas more graspable. So that's how I use Google Keep to create my idea library. I can access these ideas also on my PC because it's all on the cloud. So you just have to have a Gmail and you can access the ideas from wherever you want. You can also collaborate with people. You can bring in people and share the ideas with each other. So there are many features and possibilities in this app, but I told you my way of doing it. Again, you can also create your approach, your method or your process uh, which suits you the best but uh, to begin with that's how I use it so that's all from this video that's how I use Google Keep that's how I use Pocket Journal and that's how I use Post-its to create my idea library and then what happens next for that again this is a sneak peek and teaser I'm working on the project right now to help you take those ideas and make them real or take action on them all the posters which you see here are part of that project which I'm building right now and I'll be sharing that with you super soon Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for staying till the end. It means super a lot to me. And I hope you got something valuable out of this video. And I'll catch you in the next one. Next one is going to be the premiere of Trip of Design, a show which I created for Milan Design Week this year, which went digital. So I created a design talk show where we went across different, different continents and different, different countries and, and interviewed amazing designers and architects. So we're going to premiere that show finally on our YouTube channel. So that whole series of episodes will be dropping right up this video so make sure you subscribe so you get to see that show as well that being said take care keep building keep creating and while you create don't forget to have fun because having fun is the lifestyle which we should follow otherwise there is no point in doing anything take care stay safe and i'll catch you in the next one ciao